Hello fellow YouTube viewers, welcome back to another random tandem video. In this video, my question is, can you make orange sauce using tang powder? My answer is yes you can and that is what I am going to do. Here are the ingredients that you will need if you want to try this little concoction. You're going to need one and a half cups of orange juice, one quarter cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of chili garlic sauce, which I don't have, but it, it doesn't take away from the taste, and you need a half a teaspoon of brown ginger. I am going to go ahead and get these products set up and I am going to make the orange sauce and show you that it can be done. I will be right back. Okay, so I have all of my ingredients set up, except for my mixing bowl that I will be putting all this stuff in. All right, so as mentioned before the ingredients, I will be naming each one of these and I will also put this in my description box once I edit my video. Now I'm so glad that they have like a serving suggestion size in here. Since it's just me, I don't know if I can get that clear enough. I think it's like blurring up or whatever. I'm going to do one serving and so that is two tablespoons of powder. And I'm going to throw in another one just to give it like that extra orange kick because it calls for a cup and a half. So I'm going to do it like that. This is one and a half cups of water. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's not one and a half cups. Well, it don't matter. It's a sauce anyway, so it's not going to be like perfect, perfect. I'm going to stir that. I can still hear the liquid in here, but it's still going to have some granules mixed up in there. The next is one quarter cup of brown sugar, which I have right here. That is four tablespoons if you don't have it. This also calls for two tablespoons of soy sauce. I unfortunately used up all of my regular soy sauce and I do have like sweet soy sauce and since this is already sweet I don't want to put that much sugar in here so I am using a citrus seasoned I don't know if that's going to help or not but I never used this when I had um, regular soy sauce the other time I made this Now I don't have chili garlic, so I am just going to put just a little bit of chili powder in here. I'm cheating. I don't want to get carried away. I don't want this to taste like complete chili instead of orange. And I'm going to put some garlic salt in here. And I love this brand. It is phenomenal. It's very potent too, so I also want to be careful about how much I put in there. Hopefully that will equal out to a tablespoon of it. And this is a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. That's what that looks like. And I'm just going to mix this until it is Ok, 
Okay, so I don't hear any more granules in there. I'm going to taste that a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. I need to taste that a little bit better than what I'm tasting here. Let's see how this tastes. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more orange sauce because I think, or tang here, I want it to like literally taste like orange and um, it doesn't have that orange taste and I think it's because I put that in there. It tastes more um, citrus, like lime, than it does orange. So I put a little bit of more orange. So I still have some granules in there. I'm pretty sure once I, the heat hit to it, it's going to melt. And I'm going to taste this just to see if I got that orange flavor. Yes, I do. So now that I have that made, um, I'm going to let this sit for a minute because uh, my chicken is still unthawing. And once my chicken gets done, then I will have the rest of the recipes together, which requires cornstarch to make the sauce thicker. So um, I'm gonna come back and get that done. Okay, so some time has passed and I am in the process of making my lunch slash dinner. So I got my deep fryer going. I apologize for the vacuumed air. I have to have the fan on because this deep fryer has the worst scent that I can't tolerate that messes up my eyeballs. So while my deep fryer is heating up, I am going to go ahead and start on the sauce because I want both of these sauces and chicken to be hot when I get done um, when everything gets done I want it all to be done at the same time I have my rice on right there and I'm just gonna let that get hot my deep fryer which you can probably see in the corner of is is getting hot so I got three minutes left on the rice everything else is gonna probably be done at the same time so I'm glad I will come back when this is starting to boil. Okay, so I got several things going on. I don't mean to yell, but I don't know how my voice is carrying because I got the deep fryer going and I got my stove fan going. So this is starting to like really boil, which is a plus. So while that is doing that, I'm standing on this side also because my deep fryer is popping some crazy grease and I hate getting caught. So while this is boiling, I don't know if I'm in frame or not because I'm standing on the other side of my screen and I can't see. Okay, so this is two tablespoons of cornstarch and I just like went under the sink. I went one, two, three for water just to um, make sure the powder has loosened up and then turned into a liquid form. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to add this slurry, if you will, to the sauce. And I'm just going to slowly stir this. Uh-oh, I waited too long. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I should have. You got to hurry up and work fast on this because the cornstarch will thicken like this, but the faster you stir, the faster it dissolve, which is a plus. My chicken is almost done, which is another plus. This sauce is also thickening. And even if the clumps is on there, it's no problem. It's, it's just going to go down the same way. 
It doesn't affect the taste at all. I should have started stirring when I poured this in here, but I didn't want to drop my Tupperware on my stove with the stuff still. It would have made a mess. So, and if this starts to clump up like this, just like constantly stir it. Or if you have a whisk, you can do it that way. I still have some flowery chunks in here, which I don't want. I'm trying to get rid of it. And I don't want to stir so fast that I can throw this stuff on the stove and make a mess. So I always make a mess on my stove. I can't cook without dropping something. Okay, so the frying is starting to slow down. I'm going to turn that off because I don't want it to clump any more than what it's already doing. And I could hold this with my arm, but like I said, the uh, or I could hold the handle, but I see like a lot of grease that popped on the handle of my skillet. And like I said, I hate getting popped. So I'm a big chicken. There's a horror story that goes with that, but I'm trying not to relive that. So as you can see, the sauce is thickening. It still has chunks in there. I apologize. I shouldn't have, I should have started stirring once I poured the slurry in here and I didn't. But hopefully the more I stir, the more it'll break this up. All right, so I'm gonna put that on the side for a couple of seconds. I'm gonna take the chicken out of my deep fryer. Since it's already slowed. Letting the grease drain as much as I can. Turn it off. Okay, so the noise has died down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take my chicken wings, my flat pieces. And I'm going to put that in the paper towel just to sop up a little bit more oil. Because I'm going to add this to the sauce and I don't want it to be like soggy soggy. So, oops, that's my chicken pieces right there. Yum, yum, yum. So the skillet is not, I mean the deep fryer is not popping anymore, so I can be bold enough to take off my uh, gloves. Alright. Now I'm just going to take the chicken and I'm going to pour all of the pieces in the sauce. Whoop, without the paper towel. Okay. And I'm just covering this up. Just letting it cover up. I just want a nice good coat. <laughs> Knocking over everything in my kitchen. Okay, so that is coated, nice piping hot and coated. Now if I had another batch of chicken I would put it in this, this sauce but I do not. But I do have some rice so I'm going to put just a little bit in there. This is why I said it doesn't matter if you have a cup and a half. You can probably cut this down to a very minimal amount of sauce so you won't waste any of it. Okay, so I need to be in frame to show you that you can make orange sauce 
with Tang Powder. And this, um, I want to thank Asian Cooking Made Easy. This was her recipe um, 10 years ago, believe it or not. Um, she made this video uh, for uh, General, no, Orange Chicken. 10 years ago and I have saved her video and I have used this recipe on several occasions so again you can make orange sauce with tang powder thank you for thank you cooking Asian cooking made easy for the inspiration and I thank you guys for watching my video and I will see you in my next random tandem video